All right, welcome back. In the last video, we figured out what delta B was. I'm sorry, theta B was um, when we took an equilibrium about joint B. Now, we need to figure out what, I'm sorry, A, B, right? We need to figure out what um, MBA is and what MAB is, right? So we actually have those equations. We derived them um, in the video. Um, we have the equation for MAB, and we have the equation for MBA. And now we have theta B. Theta B is equal to negative 64 um, over EI. So let me rewrite these equations down here. You have moment AB is equal to 2EI over 16 um, theta B right minus 32 and then you have moment BA is equal to 2 EI over 16 um, 2 theta B plus 32 and if we said if we figured out what theta B was that was negative 64 over EI we can actually plug this in to both of these equations uh, to figure out um, what the moments are at the ends of member a b um, let me do this in green so if I plugged in theta b into both of these equations I would have 2 e i over 16 times theta b which is negative 64 over e i um, minus 32 and I plugged it I plugged theta b back into m b a which is 2 e i over 16 2 theta b negative 64 over ei um, and this is plus 32 well you see here the ei and ei cancel out here um, 2 times negative 64 over 16 minus 32 um, that gives us negative 40 kip foot okay and uh, 2 EI also cancels out here. You have a 2 times 2 times negative 64 over 16 plus 32. You should get 16 kip foot. Okay? What does this negative sign mean? Well, when I said, here's, here's member AB, right? AB. And I said the moment, this is the sign convention. The moments at the ends of the members are always clockwise. Well, remember, moment AB was negative. That means this moment right here is actually not going clockwise. It's actually going counterclockwise. So this is 40 kip foot. And this 16 for MBA um, was positive. That means this is going the right way. This is going the way we assumed it to go. So this is 16 kip foot okay now we actually can use this information to figure out um, what's going on at the joints um, so we can analyze this structure so let me actually redraw the diagram but with some additional detail so we have let's see we have joint A here then we have uh, member AB here then we have joint B here, then we have BC here, right? And we have a, a 16 kip load here, we have a distributed load here, right? This is 2 kip per foot. Um, this is joint B. Uh, this is joint A. This is member AB. And we, we figured out that the moment at AB is 40 this way and the moment at BA is 16 this way. Now, if I drew the shears, the shear, let's say at B, I'm going to assume the shear to go up at B here and up at A here, right? I'm going to call this shear VAB and this shear VBA. Now the joints, since this on the left side it's going up you know it's equal and opposite that means this is going down right VBA same thing here here's 
member BC. There's a shear going up. I'm going to call that shear VBC. On the, on the joint, it's going to go equal and opposite. Um, so that's VBC. So the reaction at joint B, or this big, I'm just going to call it reaction B, um, is equal to VBA plus VBC, right? If we did some of the forces in the y direction at joint B is equal to zero, we'll see that you have RB going up and then you have VBA and VBC going down. So what we first need to do is figure out what shear VBA is. So if we looked at span AB only, so if we're looking at all of this, we can actually write an equation um, to make sure the member is in equilibrium. So if I said the summation of moment, let's say at this point here, at point A is equal to zero, um, and we'll we'll say that this way is positive, right? So we'll we'll have let's start VBA um, times the length, and remember the length from um, A to B was 16. 16 feet, and then you have this moment BA, which is 16, um, and it's going the opposite way of our sign convention, so that's minus 16 kip foot, right? And then you have a positive 40 kip foot moment here at A, right? It's going the way we drew it here, and then VBA or VAB is on the point, so there's no moment created by VAB um, at point A, and then you have this 16. Um, and that's going uh, clockwise, so that's minus 16 um, times 8 is equal to 0. So if we actually solved um, for VBA, right, we just do the algebra, VBA is equal to 6.5 kips, and it came out positive, so that means our assumption here is right. That means here, this is 6.5 K, right? And then if we were to do, actually, let's figure out what VAB is, right? So if we did summation of forces in the Y direction is equal to zero, and I'll say positive is up, we'll have VAB um, plus VBA um, for, remember this is member AB, uh, that's equal to zero, right? I'm sorry, there's there's also that minus 16, right? Is equal to zero. Uh, VBA, we figured out was 6.5. Um, if we just did the algebra, we, f we um, see that VAB is equal to 9.5 kips, right? So VAB is 9.5 kips. Um, now we can actually look at member BC. Well, the shear here is equal uh, is pretty easy to figure out, right? You have a distributed load going down, and you have only one shear going up. So, VBC is actually equal to this distributed load going down, right? So, VBC, if I did summation of forces in the Y is equal to zero, up is positive. You have VBC minus two kip per foot times the length. Um, the length uh, was four, right? And that's equal to zero. Uh, VBC is equal to eight kips. So VBC is equal to eight kips, right? So that means the reaction at B is VBA plus VBC, or 6.5 plus eight. And if you add 6.5 plus eight, um, your reaction should be 14.5 kips. So the reaction at B is 14.5 kips. So if we went all the way up to our diagram, uh, the reaction here is, uh, what was it, 14.5 kips. All right, cool. Um, in the next video, we'll actually, uh, let's see what we'll do. We'll look at um, the left side, and we'll start drawing the shear and moment diagram. Uh, for this problem. All right.